So the Boston Marathon is on the third Monday in April. It's my favorite weekend of, of, of the year, and it is for a lot of people. It was like a punch in the stomach that here it is, a, a great race, and now it's a tragedy. This was the first of two homemade bombs packed with nails and ball bearings that exploded near the finish line of the Boston Marathon. When we got that notification, we had no idea that these were the Boston Marathon bombers. We just thought they had hijacked a vehicle. A sleepy Boston suburb in the early hours of this morning. And a massive gunfight is underway. Police had cornered the two men they believed were responsible for the Boston bombings. But the suspects were clearly in no mood to come quietly. They threw a pressure cooker bomb down the street. When that exploded, it, the flame that came out of it just lit up the neighborhood. This is the first time, and still the only time, in the United States that police officers have been shot at and had bombs thrown on them at the same time. The streets were lined with people um, cheering all the police officers, thanking them for what they had done. By far my proudest day in law enforcement. We are Boston, we endure, we overcome, and we own the finish line. Oh, you failed. You failed miserably. You thought you were going to take a city down. Uh, instead, the city rose up. Even 10 years later, um, uh, I get all choked up when I start talking about Boston Strong and my officers and what they did and what they went through. That's why it feels like it was yesterday at some points. <laughs> 